Welcome to Grayon Mac. You're asked to solve for this problem. Circles O1 and O2 are externally tangent at point P and have a die 2CM and 4CM respectively. Points A and B are both different from P, are chosen on O1 and O2 respectively, such that A, P, B are collinear. If A, B is equal to 4, how long is P, B? Okay, so first thing that we have to do is we have to label the length of this figure. It says that radius of the circles are 4cm and 2cm respectively. So a point on circle 1 from the center we have 2 and another point A to the center we have 2. And for circle 2, a point B from O2, the distance would be 4. And from the center O2 to point P, it is also 4. And it also says that AB is equal to 4, the total 4. So if we label this as X, this AP, then definitely, PB would be 4, 4 minus x. Okay. So we are to solve for the length PB. So we are to solve for 4 minus x. Next thing is we have to focus on point P. The angles here on the point P circle O2 is a vertical angle with the angle in point P which is in circle O1. They are vertical angles and therefore they are equal. Okay, so next thing is we need to focus on triangle O1 PA. So angle P1, P1 is opposite, opposite of side O1A and the length is 2 centimeters and it corresponds to P1. And notice that angle A is opposite of the side O1B, which is 2CM. And since angle P1 are on the opposite of sides that are of the same length, then we can say that angle P1 is equal to angle A. Next thing is we need to focus on triangle, triangle B O to P. Notice that the angle P2 is opposite of the side B O2 which is equal to 4 centimeters and notice that angle B is opposite of P O2 which is also 4 centimeters so if they are angles opposite of two sides that are of the same length, then we can say that angle P2 is equal to angle B. Next thing is we observe that by transitive property, since angle P1 is equal to A and angle P2 is equal to angle B, and if P1 and it is equal to P2, so angle P1 is equal to P2, then angle P1, we can replace that with angle A, and angle P2 can be replaced by angle B. So we can say that angle A is equal to angle B. So for this next step, we are going to use the properties of triangles that 
in any triangle the sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees so we are comparing two triangles here so that is triangle b o to p to in triangle o1 p1a so the sum of each triangle is equal to 180 so 180 is equal to 180 so we know that triangle b o2 p2 can be written as the sum of the three angles which is angle b plus angle o2 plus angle p2 equal to the sum of the angles of triangle o1 pa and that is angle o1 plus angle p1 plus angle a and since we proved that angle b is equal to angle a we can replace this angle b on the left hand side with angle a and angle 0 2 remains plus angle p2 can be replaced with angle p1 since we proved that earlier equal to angle o1 plus angle p1 plus angle a so we can cancel out the same terms on both sides so this cancels out and this cancels out so meaning angle o2 equal to angle o1 and with these facts that their angles are all similar we can say that the two triangles are similar and their sides are proportional because they have the same corresponding angles Okay, so now knowing that the two triangles being similar, we can say that P O one over P A is actually equal to P O two over P B. We know that P O one is equal to two and P A is equal to X equal to PO2 which is equal to 4 and PB which is equal to 4 minus X. So if we cross multiply we have 2 times 4 minus X equal to 4X. So simplifying the left side we have 8 minus 2X equal to 4X. If we add 2X here we add 2X here and we have 8 is equal to 6x so x is equal to 8 over 6 divisible by 2 so we have 4 over 3 x is equal to 4 over 3 centimeters actually this x is not what we are looking for we are actually looking for pb which is equal to 4 minus x so PB is actually equal to 4 minus 4 thirds. So PB equals 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3 times 4 is equal to 12 minus 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 times 4, which is 4. So PB is equal to 8 over 3 centimeters and that is our answer so so thank you for watching another episode of gray on math please like the video if you liked our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye